Guys, we're down to our last 150-ish acres to plant. I'm hoping to get it done. We're running a little low on time, though. Think we could take care of it today. We might be able to. Just ran up to the shop. She's looking a little bit open and empty. We got to get into this field and get this done and uh, hopefully get into the summertime here. But this is... There's nothing in here. Everything's parked. So guys, we're out here at Teton County, of course, and the fields are all coming together. We got great weather. And the last thing we need to take care of, we got one more soybean field. And then we're on to the corn right away. You know, we got a little bit of time on the corn, but I'm going to try and get as much done as I possibly can. But first things first, we got to give her the beans. We got to get some, we got to get our last field of beans in the ground. So I uh, just picked up some parts. I got to go pick up, fix up the versatile. It's getting a little late in the day, but we can get that done right away. All right, let's jump in the truck. We've got the service truck here. Let's head over to the field. All right. So everything's stage set up. Um, gotten a bunch of stuff done over the last little bit here. But we have one more field of beans left, like, like I said. Another, I think it's about 40, 40 acres-ish. And uh, then, while well, these fields here all kind of wrap around our farm, guys. All these fields. These are all getting planted with corn, hopefully, well, soon. That is the plan right now. Everything that's kind of uh, wrapping around us here, guys. These are all going to be corn fields. Well, hopefully, by the end of the day-ish, maybe? I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. I, I don't want to count my roosters before they've hatched, but... Uh, is it roosters? Yeah, chickens. Roosters? Does it matter? A rooster's a chicken. The question is, is one of them a rooster or are they all hens? All right, so we've got everything staged down by the old uh, the old football field here. We've got the anhydrous set up right there, ready to rock and roll. Uh, the versatile, of course, with the burgo. And then we also have the roller back there, just so we can follow it up, uh, rolling it up. I'm going to get Gertie out here to give us a hand, probably, and see if she can kind of roll out those fields for us. Yeah, it should be good. All right, so let me get the versatile fixed up and repaired back up. It's, uh, you know, nothing major is wrong. We probably could have got through the rest of the, this this season at least with it, but it's um, we got one more field to do. I might as well get it fixed while I got the service truck so close. So let me get this done, and we're going to jump into this field here right away. I was just thinking, when we stopped for gas this morning, I think it was you who put the oil in. Hey, if you're going to say I didn't put the right kind in, you're wrong. I used 10W30. And besides, motor oil would have nothing to do with this accident. True. But you can't latch the hood too well if you don't take the can out. All right, guys, we're good to go. We're a little low on fuel. Not a really half a tank. We got we should have enough, more than enough to get through the field at least. That's shouldn't be a problem. And uh, enough seed, enough fertilizer. I think we're going to be good to uh, finish this off. Now, we're not planting nor normal beans out here. We got, nar we got narrow beans is what we're planting today. That's what we've been planting out here in Teton County is the narrow beans. So it does require fertilizing where the regular beans don't, of course. So um, the narrow beans, you know what, just because they're so close together, you got you to get extra growth on them, right? I don't know. I'm, I, that's my understanding. Listen, I'm, no, I'm not a herbologist. That's just what I've been told. All right, let's get across the road. Everything's good. Nice. And sneak right onto this field. Like I said, uh, roughly 35 to 40 acres, I believe we are over here. Over on the right side, guys, we, that's our first time we planted those fields. That one there is, uh, what do we got there? Rye. It's rye. We, we planted rye. We're going to give, we're doing kind of a test plot of rye out here. Out here in Teton, seeing how the rye turns out. Um, looking good so far. I mean, it came up pretty quick. Like, this is early spring still. And look at those fields. They look great. Just going to close this gate up so I don't run into it. Uh, there we go. That's better. So, guys, yeah, pretty excited to get this done. This is the last field of beans that we need to get planted today. If we don't get these in the ground today, it's going to cause us some problems down the road, of course. Uh, chances are if we get them planted by May, like next month here, the next couple of days, they probably will not grow in time. So got to make sure we get them in now and uh, we should be good. I think we're good to go here. Let's fire this thing on up. We'll go. Sounds good. Let's see if we can drop, drop her down. All right, let's go. We've got uh, everything. Look at this. It's all plowed up, ready to go, guys. Looking pretty good. And get this thing around the corner. Straighten her out. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Perfect. All right. Let's see if we can set this up to lock right onto that. And straighten her up. All right. Looks good. Perfect. All right. Beans going in the ground. I'm happy. So we've got this field here to finish off as soon as we can, guys. This is going to be a little quick there. Let's slow down just a touch. That's uh, a little bit better. Get this field done here as soon as we can. And then we're going to move over. I need to do anhydrous first. Yeah, we've got to get some anhydrous done first. That's the bigger thing. So get this done. We're going to get it rolled out right away here. I might send Dirty out here to roll this out. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right. Let me uh, see how far we can get into this here. Things are looking good. Everything's coming. Yeah, new new repairs did, did awesome. What can I say? For those that don't, aren't aware, this farm is out here on our usual live stream. Uh, we usually live stream directly from Teton County here. 
most uh, most of the time, but today I thought to change it up a little bit since we had a little left to do here on planting season. I thought I'd, you know, instead of doing it live, we'll do it as a video and we can talk about what's going on here and uh, what else we need to get done, guys, because like I said, we've been working on this. We're f going on four years in on this. Um, yeah, we're making good profits, but the, the thing is, it's time we start maybe thinking about what we can upgrade next. We've got a lot of fields. Maybe this versatile could be could be something that we upgrade at some point. Guys, also, I should mention this here is our G portal server. This is on our G portal server. Uh, I'm not going to make you go through a whole ad read on this, but you guys know what I think of G portal servers. They are the best servers out there. There's no one else you should go with if you're looking for a server. Uh, and we could do exactly what we've been doing out on this server on console, which is kind of cool. And console players, PC players, you guys can play together. Just we've got almost and we actually we have over 20 gigs of mods on this server. So if you're looking to play with your friends, there's no better way of doing it. Get a G portal server. It's fastest connections out there. You can play Teton County, which is a crazy map with all your friends. And uh, yeah, go check it out. 10% off down in the description. You click that link and uh, that goes to help the channel as well. So appreciate you guys when you do that. So if you're looking for a server, go check out the link down in the description. G portal is really the best one out there, guys. I'm not I'm not lying when I'm telling you that. That's why I always use them. Guy says he's not going to make you suffer through an ad read and then goes and does a pretty much a full on ad read. But I digress. Um, all right. First headland is pretty much done. This is the worst part for me right here is trying to judge this freak and fence line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. I did not set. Yeah, see this this fence line. I, I've gotten snagged on more than more times than I could count. Let me reset this quickly and get straightened up. Nothing like getting barbed wire all locked up in your planting unit. There we go. Let's just try and keep her up against it so it's not too far off. So we grow right up against that fence line. Um, I've been thinking about trying to take some of these fence lines out as something we've discussed in the past. Um, that could be an interesting concept of getting rid of some of these fence lines, especially over on the field with the rye on our right side there, guys. I want to get rid of the fence lines in that. That's something maybe we can do in the off season, the winter. Um, we'll see if we can do that. You can see we've taken care of a bunch of like coolies and stuff on this field, like right here. This area was a bit of a, um, a, a depression, a bit of a coolie right here at one point in time. Don't hear anything in there. Don't hear anything. There we go. Uh, we've taken that all out, of course, to try and make this field a little bit bigger and a little bit more manageable. But I would love to get rid of the ones over on the right as well. Get rid of those things. We'll have to see what we can do with those the, those uh, fence lines, though. All right, one headland done. That's actually quite. That's we'll do two. We'll do two to make sure, and then we'll just kind of uh, figure out the rest. But it won't take us too much longer now. That that first headland's always the tricky one. A lot of trees, a lot of fence line. Yay, you guys! You guys get what's going on. But uh, we're gonna finish this off, and then uh, we'll see if we can get this start to get rolled out. All right, guys. Let me finish this off quickly here. Well, it'll take me a little bit of time, but not too long. Not too much time. And that there is going to do it for the beans, you guys. Perfect. Well, kind of. In a way. We've got them all planted at least, right? Of course, we still need to roll it out. So we might as well get on that right away, right? We can't wait. So it's got to get done tonight. Yeah, no, we can't wait on this. It's got to be done right away. So if we were to wait, it would be uh, it would cause us some problems. You know, we've got the benefit. That we've plowed everything up. Absolutely everything was... Uh, we've, we've gone through and plowed. Like, you can see all our cornfields, even the bean fields we plowed up. So we shouldn't have to worry about weeds this year, guys, which is going to save me a little bit of cash. Spent it in fuel, but we'll save it in herbicide. Nice and easy. Just through the gates. And uh, let's roll this out. Now, I know we're only gaining a little bit. Like, this is not this is not going to give us a huge amount extra, but it's been it's been nice. It's been a nice little bonus we've been getting on the last, uh, the last year. I noticed we got a little bit extra out of these fields. So definitely worthwhile doing for the extra time it takes. Like, it doesn't take us that much time to sit here and drive across this field. So... Let's get this set up and maybe we'll we'll send Gertie out here and maybe she can roll this thing out for us. We'll just even get her set up here. I'll do a quick headland so I don't have to worry about her hitting any of my fences or getting wrapped around any trees. Just keep things like nice and simple. I mean, this roller is it's a pretty good size. This cement tank was pretty good. Uh, we picked this up just last year. It was on the used market, so it was wasn't uh, too bad. But definitely, you know what? Giving us two percent, two percent extra, two and a half percent extra per field of yield which I think by my math ended up being about thirty to $40,000 extra per year just for doing this. So um, it's already paid for itself, you guys. It's already paid for itself. All right, our first headland's done. I got Gertie working away on it, guys. Let's see. Looks like it's definitely noticeable when uh, you, you go and you till it, or you roll this out. Like, we've got a different different difference in, uh, in field states here. Let's see how she does going around here. Looks good. Everything's coming together. Perfect. Love it. All right, spin that thing around. Looks like she missed a little bit right here. Don't maybe come back and do this, please. Yeah, definitely. She's definitely missing some. Ah, brutal. Brutal. So, guys, we're going to let her finish off this field here, and we're going to go over and start taking care of 
Well, something a little bit different. We've got some anhydrous to go inject into the field, and we're going to talk about, about that as well. But this is all looking good. She's got this taken care of. Yeah, it's looking great. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Let's head over to uh, the, what did the RT? We got the 9RT set up. Let's go get that taken care of and see if we can get into these fields with some anhydrous. So on the bright side, we are now completely ahead of the game. Our beans are going in. Um, it's all time to do the corn. Now, the anhydrous, the big the big benefit of doing the anhydrous is just cheaper than, than going in with uh, fertilizer. So we can inject anhydrous into all our cornfields, go and plant, and then even though our planter technically will do fertilizing, this is just way cheaper. Got the 9RT fired up, let's go. We might as well start farthest away from the farm. The farm's all back there, the old $10 million farm is right behind us. We'll work our way over that way, I guess. That's kind of the plan, at least. Uh, Guri's busy over there, she's still rolling out that field. That'll take her a little bit of time, but everything over here is gonna be quick for the most part as well, guys. This is not gonna take us that long, I don't think. Uh, we can we can inject the anhydrous fairly quickly with the 9RT. She goes pretty quick, you know, especially since we've gone in ahead and plowed this field all up. Uh, it's making our life pretty pretty simple in that sense. Oh yeah, a little bit of a looks like we got a little bit of a leak there almost. It's a little dusty back there. Holy, <laughs> a little bit dusty. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get that fixed. There we go. That that's fixed. That yeah, one we had the hose leaking. That's all. All right, away we go. <laughs> Uh, that looks a lot better. So yeah, we're gonna inject all the anhydrous in here. It's just gonna save us some cash versus having to do it, uh, having, having to put in fertilizer in if we had to do solid or liquid fertilizer. This is just a cheaper way of doing it. And we're missing a little bit on the sides there, but that's okay. That's okay. And everything's already tilted up, so I don't need to worry about weeds on this field, you guys. It's all been taken care of. This is just gonna be a plant. Once we get this done, we'll plant it and the corn will be good for the year. It's, it's genius, really. So I thought I was going to have enough anhydrous to uh, finish off this field. I don't think it's going to be even close. We're running a little low right now. We're um, going to have to do this sooner than later. Fortunately, it's an easy place for me to fill. I just got to go down the roadway down, just a bit down there. So I'll take the service truck in a second here. But yeah, I was hoping to get this whole field done with what we had left over from last year. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, you guys. Yeah, it's gonna, that's, a, that's a good bill, too. That's about a $40,000 fill, so... Um, like, it's going to cost us a bit of money, but whatever. We're not going to have to, to do it more than once this year, at least. In fact, we'll have a lot left over for next year. I think we're using less anhydrous this year than we did last year. We have one less field, so there is that. I think that's all I'm going to get out of that one, you guys. Let's wrap this up quickly. Uh, I'm going to go pull this over beside the field here, and we'll hook it up to the uh, the truck and go go get some more anhydrous in this thing. Uh, I guess we have to leave the pressure washer here as well. Oh, well. Yeah, we've been using the pressure washer and the service truck, really, actually, for the secondary farm, you guys. For those who have uh, been around for a bit, you guys know we have the secondary farm with um, a bit of a vineyard that's, well, just north of us here, a couple miles up the road. That's kind of what this truck has been utilized for, but it's good for this stuff as well. I do have another old truck we can use for, like, a flat deck that's got bit for hay bales and stuff. I can always use that as well, or my truck, whatever. But this one here, it's nice to have just sitting around that we can use it for, well, this kind of stuff if we need it, all right? Back us on in. All right, let's set it up and let's get going. It'll be a quick one. We better put the old hazards on, I suppose. Just in case, right? Just in case. All right. Take her nice and easy. I'm not going to be going too quick with these tanks down the highway, but uh, easy. Get out of the field. Let's go. So the last thing we might need to get still is some seed, guys, other than the anhydrous, of course. Uh, I think that might be our last expense is some seed later on. So we'll have to take a look at that and see if we can pick up some seed at some point in time. But uh, for now, just the anhydrous is going to be our biggest expense. Even seed shouldn't be too much for what we got left, I don't think. All right, let's fill this thing on up, and uh, we'll go from there. Perfect. Let's see how much this costs us. Hey, <laughs> yeah, 40, 40 grand once again, like I said. Um, it's not a cheap fill, but it, it's pretty expensive. But when you start factoring in how much we'd spend on the same amount of fertilizing, like solid fertilizer or liquid fertilizer, this is by far, well, not by far. It is maybe a third cheaper, maybe a little less, maybe a quarter cheaper. So we're definitely saving some money. Like we'd probably spend about 50 or 60,000 at least on fertilizer if we weren't gonna do it this way. Just saying, definitely saves us some cash. And no, we don't go through that much fuel either. So it's definitely, it is definitely worthwhile to do it. Let's just um, see if I can back this in properly. There we go. Come on, easy, easy, easy. Nice and easy. Oh, get it a little bit closer on that. A Little closer, there we go. There we go. Oh, right there, perfect. All right, we're hooked back up. We got the 8R with the roller there as well. We're going to switch things up here in a second once I finish this field off, I think. Maybe we'll put the 8R over on the roller. Um, or on, sorry, onto the um, the anhydrous. 
and I might go and pick up Planter with the 9RT here. And uh, maybe we'll get into the field with this. It's a little bit, you know, I don't need to plant with this, but I, I kind of like using this tractor to plant with, to be honest with you guys. So we'll head up top maybe in a second here. All right, guys, new plan, new, well, not new plan. Just change of plan. In a way, we're going to take the 8R. I'm going to get Gertie to jump in the 8400 here. She's going to do the anhydrous on, well, we got this field. We got like three fields over here that are fairly good size. Probably about 100 acres total. And then... I've got those fields over here we've already taken care of with the anhydrous. I'm going to take the 9RT, and we're going to go pick up the planter up at the farm and go do that. Does that make sense? Yeah, so Gertie can take care of the anhydrous. We'll take care of the planting right away. I would have liked to have done the anhydrous in the fall. To be honest, I should change that up, shouldn't I? Like anhydrous in the fall, plant in the spring, but we're just doing a back-to-back -back right now. doesn't make a difference for us, but I think we should probably do it that way, right? Maybe. All right, Gertie, we're going to let you off on your own. Looks good. She's got it all taken care of. Don't hit those telephone poles, please. Oh, good. Good job. Uh, yeah, we'll let her take care of those. We'll head up to the field farm here. Let's just make sure she makes this last corner here properly. Fingers crossed. Don't hit that. Holy shnikes. She is so close to those telephone poles. She's doing a good job, though. Scared me. And then around the last one. Come on now. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. You got, you got this. You got this. You got this. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Well, perfect enough. Yeah, it's okay. That's all right. That, that actually looks pretty good, guys. All right, let's head up to the uh, to the main farm. Of course, don't forget if you guys are wondering where this farm came from or how we made this particular farm. Whoa, this was all done. I've got a video actually on the building of our, our farm here, guys. If you guys want to see how we, we constructed this farm, because this is, for the most part, um, uh, starting from nothing, like uh, nothing on this land at all. And we built up this $10 million farm up here. So if you want to take a look at that, click the video up at the top right hand corner. And uh, take a look. It's, uh, yeah, if you're interested in farm builds at all, that's kind of fun. I really enjoyed that one. All right. I cannot remember how much seed I've got in the planter now, guys. So this John Deere planter. Uh, I hope I've got enough seed for now. We might have to make a quick run and go buy some seed, though. We'll see. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll seed? We'll seed. Oh, good. We got, like, two-thirds uh, of a tank full of seed on this still. Perfect. I was wondering how much corn we still had in this thing, but we got lots. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Should get us for a little bit at least. Just looking at the cedar. Could use uh, a little bit of maintenance. We could maybe uh, maybe grease it a little bit. I don't know. Lubricate some of those bearings. We'll see. I'm going to go pull up by the service truck here and see if I can work that a little bit. Might save us a little bit of seed in the long run. You got to think long long term, right? Long term. All right. That's that's okay. A couple thousand bucks in uh, service service fees. Not the end of the world there. That's that's just fine. We'll shut everything down here, but I think we're good to go there, guys. And uh, let's get into this field and start planting the corn. First time we're planting corn this year. Oh, the train's greeting us, too, as we're getting fired up. Ah, good timing. Uh, can't see. Oh, Gertie's just across over there. Hopefully she's doing all right. We'll see. She, we shouldn't be able to catch her, though. We're quite a ways behind. She's just finishing up that first headland, it looks like, right now. There she goes. Come on, spin it around. Don't hit the telephone poles, please. I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. And corn is going in the ground. I'd really like to get to a point where I can figure out exactly how much corn I'm going to need per field. I mean, I, I do have some stats on that. I haven't really figured it out yet. How much seed, I should say. Ooh, that's going to be close to the truck. That's going to be close. Just sneak past the truck. Sneak past. Right up the... Oh, there we go. Just kind of rub along the side of it. I think we're... Oh, that's even closer to the Bendenko. Um... I should have moved that over, eh, guys? I think we're okay. I think it's going to be okay. I think I think it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Best driver in farm sim. Best driver in farm sim. Yeah, getting to a point where we can really start to um, kind of estimate exactly how much seed we're going to need. I, I'd like to get to that. Uh, we're not quite there yet. I'm not quite at that point where I could actually just figure that out exactly and buy. Because we have been using trucks to buy in bulk. So, of course, buying in bulk, the seed would be kind of nice just to buy exactly what I need every year and not have... A bunch of extras sitting around, right? All right, first headland is done. Looks good. Now, this is one thing we do need to figure out. It looks like Gertie's got stuck on something. We need to make sure we um, get this all rolled out tonight as well. Like, everything we plant has to be rolled tonight. Otherwise, oh, a little bit quick there. That's going to cause us problems. If we don't roll it right away and don't embed those seeds into the ground, then, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. We're not going to be able to get it done at all. So we got to make sure we do this before we get any growth out of these. Otherwise, um, it's just not going to work. So make sure these get done. If we end up uh, stopping or, you know, taking a break for tonight, I'm going to try to get as much as I can planted. We've got a couple more hours of daylight left. I want to get everything I can planted before that. That's going to be the goal. How much can I get planted before the sun sets? Because to be perfectly honest, I don't need to get the corn in the ground today. I've got lots of time to get this corn in. I'm, I'm a little bit early. Looks like the weather is going to be good for it. So why not do it if I can? But... 
We've got to make sure we do it right. So that's the key. As long as, as long as we can roll it out afterwards, then it makes sense. If we're not and we're just rushing in for no reason, then that's not smart, is it? So hopefully we can um, just plan this out properly, get it done. Gertie can go ahead and take care of. If I can get her to take care of the anhydrous beforehand, and then just double back behind us with the roller, that might be perfect, actually. See, big brain, big brain maneuver. Yeah, this big brain time. Look at this. Feels looking good though, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. 150 some odd acres. It's looking good, guys. I remember how I said I had lots of seed. <laughs> I'm out of seed already. We're already out of seed. Um, yeah, I was expecting that to last a little bit longer than it did, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's just after six. We should have time to uh, still go over to the co-op here and get some, some seed. Hopefully, we'll watch out for that corner. Um, Gertie's still working away, though. Still working away here. Let's get over there quickly. It's it's literally just around the corner. You can see it from here. Yeah, I definitely should have pre-bought some of the seed beforehand so I could have, you know, done it a little bit quicker. Wouldn't be wasting time right now. Um, it is it is what it is. Oh, oh, that's right. Never mind. They've got their buildings all spread out. I always get confused. Who has seed? Who has fertilizer? Hey, 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 six in one, half dozen the other. We're we're here though. Don't worry. Like I said, I could save myself so much more time if I would have just been on top of this, right? You guys. Now I'm sitting here wasting time buying seed instead of planting fields, and that just feels it feels wrong. Okay, I think 30,000-ish should be enough, right? I'll leave the last uh, little bit here empty. I think that should be enough seed for now. I don't think I'm going to need more than that for this year. And if I do, well, I'll have to get it tomorrow, I guess. I'm um, kind of taking a bit of a risk here, but I don't want to fill this whole trailer full of seed. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, let's see if we can get that to fill up. Perfect. All right, let's fill this thing right on up again. And uh, yeah, that'll be good. I think we got more than enough seed here, right? I think it's going to be more than enough seed, you guys. How full are we looking here now? Looks like we're pretty much full to the top. Perfect. All right, we can leave this here for now because we're probably going to need it again before we move into the next field, you guys. Looks good, though. All right, seed's done. Let's get back into this field. Let's get this stuff planted. All right, I'm wrapping up the first field. I'm going to bounce over the tracks right there. That field's good to go. Gertie's taking her time. She's still working on, on uh, the anhydrous over across the way. But we are done here, you guys. Looks good. Get to the end. Perfect. All right. That looks good. I'm happy. Corn's planted. First field's done. Let's move on. Another couple of fields in the books already, guys. We're just going to go. We're almost caught to Gertie. She's almost done over there, mind you. But we're, we're on to the field that she's working on right now. I just need more seed first. Need to get need to get refilled up here. She's uh, a little low. A little bit, a little bit low. Just back it on in. Looks pretty good right about there. Just need to go turn that on. All right. Filling back up again. Another five minutes, and we'll be back into that field. Oh, wait, wait, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. It looks like that's empty. we got to switch this up. Hang on. There, we moved it over to the second one. Now we can fill it right up. Perfect. Looks good. All right, a couple hours in, and we're just finishing up this field. I see Gertie's over there still working away. You can see her off in the distance. Still working that anhydrous on that field. That field's going to be done pretty quick, and then we're on to our last field. we got a lot of um, rolling still to do tonight, though. Like I said, this has all got to get done before midnight. So that's going to be a thing. All right. Looks like we're done here. Look at the sun starting to go down. Not a fan of working at night, but sometimes you got to do it, right? And of course, we need more seed before we move into this field. Let me just readjust this quickly here. That uh, arm's not quite right. Oh, there we go. That looks better. Um, looks like we still need some more. Must be empty. Must be empty on that one. Let me change that up. And that'll about fill both of those tanks up. All right. We're back into it. Let's go. Uh, speaking of which, how's Gertie doing? Looks like she's almost done. Yeah, it looks like she's pretty much wrapping it up. Perfect. Good timing. All right, field's done. One more field left to plant, you guys. Uh, seeds are all in. I saw Gertie just go by a second ago over there, so... But, like, it's getting... It's looking good. We're looking good. Just the rolling's going to be at night, it looks like, now. So everything's almost planted. We got one more big field. It's about a 60-acre field right there. Uh, Decent-sized field still ahead of us, but... Yeah, we're looking... Guys, it's our biggest field still, to be honest. But it's still... We're, it's only 7 o'clock. We'll be done in an hour. About an hour-ish, I bet. Let's get to work. Perfect. All right, and once again, like I said, the, the best part about all of this is that we're not going to need to fertilize anything anymore. Not going to need to spray any herbicide. Like, our fields are pretty much good now until harvest, for the most part. They're fully fertilized. We did amazing field work, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's been limed. Everything is looking really good right now, so I can pretty much... Hold my feet up for most of the summer. Well, not entirely true, but close. Yeah, the, the winery needs to be taken care of, of course, guys. And uh, that's 
that's still going to take up eat up a little bit of my time not a lot but some of my time um and then of course we do need to sell we got beans that are in our in our silo i want to sell off it's um gonna put us oh back probably over a million bucks i bet by the time we get her all said and done so that's uh, also something i gotta take care of in the summertime but i mean as far as field work goes i don't need to worry about our fields at all everything else is looking pretty darn good here yeah look at her she's doing great we'll do uh we'll do our two headlands i guess and then meet up with her it's looking good down here all right gertie's uh out doing more more damage here she's she's taking care of it uh I'm trying to get caught back up with her we're done our first headland we used about 30 percent of our seed actually on one headland so we're probably gonna go through a little more seed than i was anticipating but i think we got more than enough here so i'm not overly concerned at least but uh yeah quite a bit of seed we're going through actually considering everything let's dive in right behind her here while we're at it easy does it she is going to head right up. I still have to go back down and do the far corner at least. So we still have a little bit of work left to do down there. And um, yeah, yeah we'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. We're right caught up to her for the most part right now though. So yeah, it'll uh, just have to go go down and run once more around. And then I'll catch up with her down on the far side. Oh yeah, look at that. Tanks are doing good. Field's getting fertilized. Now it's getting planted. It looks good, guys. All right, guys. Not much left to do here. We have maybe another half a dozen passes it looks like just down at the end gertie's all finished up she's headed home for the night you know what i, I told her to take it off i'm gonna finish it off the rolling tonight I'm, I'm gonna stay up late and i'll take care of all the dirty work later on here you know what i don't mind it's okay i don't mind it's all good so just let's fill this back up and uh we should be good you know what we only used about half the seed i thought we were going to use to be honest with you um so and then i just checked the the propane or the propane the um and hydrous tanks as well and there's about half of the left in there. So we spent about 20 grand in fertilizer for the uh, the corn. So, hey, that's not bad. 20, that 20 grand of fertilizer, half as much as about 15,000 in seed right now. Things uh, wasn't as, as expensive as I was expecting, to be honest with you. So that's good. Let's uh, fill this thing back on up. Looks like I've got to switch this over. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Perfect. Love it. All right. Uh, it looks like we're pretty full. Oh, get back up there. Jump. Nice <laughs> jump. Tries to get jump. Hey, there we go. All right. Officially done with the planting. The plant the corn is in. Corn is officially in. We got it all done and to, all the rest of it done tonight. Um, didn't think I was going to get through it all, but we're going on 8 o'clock right now. And you know what that means, though. I've still got a lot of work still to do because, quite honestly, I maybe a bit off more. I, I could have waited. I could have waited, but the weather is just so good. I mean, look at it. It's kind of a nice night out. I had to do it, right? So I need to repair all. We got a lot of maintenance still to do on all of our equipment. Unfortunately, the uh, the eight R guys, she's gonna do some more work tonight, and I'm not gonna have a chance to fix it for a little bit yet. So um, let me just drop this here for now, and then we'll talk about it. Oh boy, it's getting dark. Yeah, everything everything's up here. We need to repair it all, and then we'll think about storing stuff for the summer. But uh, everything else is done. Yeah, we're looking good. Let's get out and go pick up the roller. Yeah, we're, we're starting to beat the snot out of this tractor. This might be something we have to replace sooner than later, to be honest with you, with the way we've been treating it, but it's all good. So we've got three... These two fields... Yeah, we got to start over here. The fields on this side, guys, need to be uh, the first ones we take care of. Um, is there a train coming? No, train must have just gone by. Anyways, we got to take care of these fields down here first and then work our way around once again, kind of like how we planted. We'll grab the roller. The truck's still down here. I think I'll probably leave it down here. We just kind of hike back and I'll pick it up later on yeah the truck and the pressure washer they could stay down here in fact i could you know what we can repair stuff right now we might as well all right well no rest for the wicked i guess um hey wait a minute i thought i repaired this oh okay never mind it's picking up the uh the roller roller needs some work as well um yeah we've got quite a bit of still still the work here guys let's drop that on down perfect um it's gonna take us a hot minute to get through all of this of course as well we could have go back through everything we've just done so that's going to take us uh, another hour, maybe two hours. Need to get it done tonight, though. I don't have any choice. It's got to get done tonight. So away we go. It is uh, it is dark out, so I'm not going to bore you guys with the semantics of that. The semantics? That's not the right word. Anyways, yeah, watching watching stuff at night, it's tougher to film, of course. So I'm not going to bother you guys with that stuff. So we'll, you know what? We'll, we'll drop off today. We've done our planting season out here on Teton County. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. We got everything done. Way more than I expected, to be honest. You know, anhydrous was put in. We took care of the beans. We got our corn done. Man, it was a, it was a productive day, considering we didn't really get started till almost the end of the day. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, yeah a lot of acres planted. 150, 160 acres planted right there. Well, cool. anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around the channel. 
And of course, you know, if you want to see the farm build, click on the card here at the end. Um, if you want to see how we built this this $10 million farm here on Teton County, check the card out. Anyways, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. This is Glutch from Teton County. Over and out.